What's going on, nation? This is the Constant Cruiser, and today we're going to look at the most underrated death metal band of all time, Atheist. But first, a word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by the Smoking Section! Because even rowdy metalheads need a break. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Atheist was founded back in 1984 as part of the Florida death metal scene, along with Cynic, Obituary, Death, Deicide, and many more. Cannibal Corpse started out in Buffalo, but did eventually make the move to Florida. The band consisted of singer and rhythm guitarist Kelly Schaefer, bassist Roger Patterson, lead guitarist Rand Berkey, and drummer Steve Flynn. Their first album, Piece of Time, was recorded back in 1998, but wasn't released until 1990 due to label issues. By the way, I'm not going to show the album covers just yet. I'm saving those for the very end. They did do a couple of tours to promote it with Candlemass, one in Sweden, one in America. But sadly, tragedy struck way too soon. While they were on tour, they had a car crash on a Louisiana highway that killed Roger Patterson. To this day, he is still missed by his friends, his peers, and colleagues, and is considered a legend in the scene. While his playing wasn't on the second album, Unquestionable Presence, he did manage to write all the bass lines. So, in a way, he is still on the album. He was replaced by former Cynic bassist Tony Choi. They broke up for the first time in 1992, but due to fulfilling contractual obligations, they got back together in 1993 and released their third album, Elements, which is my favorite album by the way, but it was short-lived because they broke up again in 1994 and didn't release any new music until 2010. Yes, 17 goddamn years later. During that time, however, they did reissue their entire discography, which was a good call because their albums were selling on eBay for $200. I am not making this up. They played the Bakken Open Air Festival in 2006, and then they released their fourth album, Jupiter. Now that you're all off to speed, why do I think they're so underrated? It's because they're different. For starters, they're the world premiere death metal jazz band. Yeah, wrap your minds around that one. Yeah, these guys took the technicality of jazz and just cranked the distortion up to 11. Compare that to the brutality of traditional death metal. Now, that's not to say you don't get variety with traditional death metal. You do. These bands experiment with all sorts of different textures and playing styles. But Atheist offers more than different textures. They offer different styles of music. Let's look at vocals. Death metal vocals tend to be very good. Which is very difficult to do. Lord knows I would not win in a screaming match. I mean, come on, you just saw it. However, atheist frontman Kelly Schaefer has a more raspy voice with his vocals. Let's look at lyrics. Traditional death metal lyrics tend to be very violent and evil. Let's read some together. God is the wicked way of your second chance. The God surgeon heads of death. The crippling man wants you dead. The final cries are due. The certain heads of death. The final cries are due. Those are some dark lyrics. Let's keep going. He looked you into her eyes and tells her tonight she dies. But to you, I must confess that when she died, she was the best. Wow, pretty violent. Now let's look at atheists. The crosswinds of forever become me and place me on the porch of the breeze. Without my sounds would be silence. No gullible gust through the trees. 
caring seasons to bring us the atmosphere we all can enjoy and we destroy. Whoa, this feels rather deep. Let's keep going. A blast of light emerging, a soul prepared to learn. Its classroom, our earth, enlightenment it yearns, receiving the life and knowledge it deserves. A spectrum of warmth, a soul of life preserved. Hmm, these come off rather intriguing as if they're exploring the wonders of the universe. And again, that's very different for death metal. And now let's look at album arts. Look at these. These are some of the most vile images I have ever seen, which was the point. The intent was to create something so graphic and shocking that it got your attention and it worked. And you have to give Cannibal Corpse some credit. They did answer to this. First time somebody who's has, knows nothing about the death metal scene. The first time they see, you know, one of our album covers or something like that, you know, it's gonna shock them. If it doesn't, then, you know, we're not, you know, we didn't make a very good album cover. It's art, just look at it as art, you know? Yeah, it's disgusting, but I mean, there are lots of, there are lots of things. You go to the Vatican and look at some of the art there. Whew, that's, yeah. that's real. That's, that's representing something that's real that could happen. You know, this is just, obviously, that's never gonna happen, you know? Um, you know, uh, monsters aren't going to come out of, you know, aren't going to rip out of people's bodies anytime soon, I don't think. Now, let's look at Atheist's album covers. Look at these works of art. Piece of Time has a clock inside of an hourglass with sand dropping on Stonehenge, and it's set in a dry desert with dark clouds behind it. Unquestionable Presence has a boy praying to two moons, kneeling on top of a grassy hill set to a starry sky, as if he senses this presence and is praying for it to go away. Elements has earth and space enclosed in a crystal ball with wind, fire, and water around it. The rest of the art is just embellished, and it looks amazing. The Live at Vakken cover manages to combine all three album covers into one, and it all flows so nicely. Jupiter has two lions, which represent religion, fighting in what I found out is a womb of the sun, the mother of all. Now, no offense to all those other death metal bands. Lord knows I would give my own left hand to be in a Jim Carrey movie. But by comparison, are you starting to see where I'm getting at here? One is about constant gore and evil, while the other is about the wonders of the universe and the future of humankind? Which do you think is more alluring? Which one do you think has something more to say? Atheist, the superior band. I'm sorry everyone, but this band's more interesting, more entertaining, and dare I say, thought-provoking. And it's why I think Atheist is the most underrated death metal band of all time. Be sure to catch them on tour with fellow technical death metal pioneers, Cynic, on tour soon. Check the description for more details. And until next time, this is the Concert Cruiser, signing off.